Welcome back to Klebler Computing. Let's play from Computer Craft and the Technic Pack. Ooh. See, that's why you don't leave yourself in creative mode. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead and patch that up. We'll just... Um, there. Perfect. No one will ever notice. And um, probably best if there are no witnesses. Uh, am I going to have to beat him to death with a sign? I think I will. Okay. Well, if that's how it's got to be... And that's how it's got to be. And come back here. You horrible. There we go. See? All right. And no one was the wiser. Uh, perfect. Just, uh, just like it uh, started. So the last time we were talking about trying to make a lock, an internal server lock. And I said that we were going to talk about the red net. So let's let's talk about the red net a little bit. Um, now, generally, to, uh, as an overview, um, the the modems here on the back of these terminals can send and receive messages. So what I want to do is give a few examples of how that works. So I set up three uh, red net examples, and. Uh, you can tell that a modem is on if this little red light here is going. And uh, this is our test modem. It's not on currently. And this one's not on. This one is. And out there, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little red line on that one as well. So first, before we get this going, I want to set up an example or, or listener so that it can listen to everything going on over the red net. So what we're going to do is we're going to say red net open. And this is going to open up the modem. So the modem is on the back of this computer. And that should turn the modem on. So now that has the red on light. And what, all we're going to do is we're going to loop over and over again. Oops. Oh, I have to... Uh, okay, well, let's just make... I think we have a program on here to do this. So listener, actually. I already made it. So let's look at this listener program. It's really simple. It opens the modem. I've already done that. And then it... It just loops over and over again, and it receives on the red net, and it so simply tells us what the computer idea I ID is, what the distance is, and what the message was. So very simple, and I don't want that wind to get too loud, so why don't I just go ahead and turn it off for the time being. Okay, so as if I run listener, it's going to listen for red net events here on on this computer. And these other examples I have are also listening for specific events. So if I come on here and I send out a red net uh, command, so first I have to turn on the modem, so red net open back, there we go. So now this modem should be on. And so this first one is the courier, pr well let's do this one first. Uh, this one is called, uh, I think the command is open sesame. So I want to broadcast the message open sesame. Okay, and the door opens. So you can open a door remotely there. So that's what the open sesame one does. So this one was actually listening for a message open sesame and as soon as it got that it opened. But when you do a broadcast every computer that's listening can hear it. So this one also should have heard open sesame from my computer number 16, which is a distance of three away. So the next one here is another example. It's the courier example. And uh, I'll broadcast another message. Courier. And all of a sudden, our little courier flies up into the air. And he should come through. I made a little courier tube. Now the thing that's nice about these turtles is they're not hurt by lava. So if you give them a little tube of lava, they can get in. You can give them something to, to, to give back or take back somewhere. And uh, probably no one else can get in through a, a tube filled with lava. I think that would be difficult for them to do. So um, now that courier will just go back to wherever it started from and uh, take that material back with him. And uh, so, okay, so the last one here is um, the Honeydew 2.0. It's a little miner, a little robotic miner. And so I'm going to broadcast to that little guy, Honeydew 2.0. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to send him mining straight down. And then once he's done, once he's hit the bottom, he's going to come back up. So before I send this, again, we're going to look at the listening computer and we see that it got a message courier. Now, if you do have broadcasts, you can use it for status updates. So what I have this guy doing here is it broadcasts a status update every few attempts to go down. So as soon as I hit this, he should start digging down and then sending status updates over the broadcast. So we're going to look at both of those. So I'm going to tell him to start digging. And we'll just come over here, make sure he's on his way. There he goes. And he's away. All right, that's a little dangerous. That's going to be a hole straight down to bedrock. But uh, we can go over here to our listening computer. And here is our computer three where I sent the command honeydew. And then here is computer number 45, which is that turtle. And he's 5.09 meters away. He tells us he's going down. And then at these different uh, distances, he tell he's giving us a status. So he's gone down 10, 20, 30, 40 blocks. I think uh, right now we're at a depth of about 60. So, um, or a height of about 60, 67. So he should only be able to go down to about uh, 60. And then he should start coming back up, hopefully. Yep, going up. That's 61. So now he's coming all his, on his way all the way back up. So I showed this the, the software for this one. It was really simple. It was just a listen command and then a print with the message that we got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, how some of these other things are working. So I showed you a listen. We can also, I'm going to show you a broadcast now. And this guy should be close. He said he was 11 blocks. Oop, yep, here he is. So here he comes. He was running simple mine. And notice here he brought back 27 cobblestone, 10 dirt, 22 marble, and 1 gravel. So that's disappointing. There was absolutely no ore on the way back down. So, Oh well. Well, let's go ahead and look at this program. I'm going to hit Control T to exit out. And here I'm going to look at this file, simple mine. So we keep track of the depth, we keep track of um, how many times he's moved so that we can send a display. Now what we're going to focus on is just the red net stuff. If you're concerned or if you're interested in seeing how the rest of this works, let me know in the comments and I can go into more de uh, in depth into any of these three examples. But for now we're just going to focus on the red net. So here again you have to open the modem up and this is just the going up and going down. and. Uh, Here's him broadcasting the status. So here it is, rednet.broadcast, and that sends to every computer nearby. It says going up or down, and he tells the depth. And he tells how many times he's had any errors. And we didn't see any errors, so he didn't have much problem going down. So that's all it does. While it's true, uh, so that's the, the broadcast, but also you want to have it listen. So for example, if I told him Honeydew 2.0 again right now, he's going to start going down again. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, he's not because I stopped the program from running. But I'll show that in a second. So in this loop, we listen for that Honeydew 2.0. And if we hear it, then we uh, will broadcast out and we'll start doing our work. We'll start going down. And then w these are more broadcasts going down, broadcast coming up. So that's a really simple way of, of uh, sending a command to somebody and having them continue to listen for it. So if I have him running simple mine again, simple mine, then he's listening for that word honeydew 2.0. So if I broadcast that again, he'll start on his way back down. He's not going to get anything this time because he's mined it all already. Now this one is this is super simple. I should have started with this one probably. Now he's listening for everything also. He's not listening for going down or honeydew. He's listening for the word open sesame, so he's ignoring all of these. Uh, let's go ahead and terminate that and look at this one really quick. This one's super simple. We open the modem, we receive again, and we're looking for if message equals open sesame, then we do the redstone, uh, the redstone output. So really super simple. And then after it's done, it listens back again. So I should be able to do an open sesame and it should open the door. No, no, I keep forgetting. You have to start the program or else it's not going to listen. So let's try that again. Open sesame. There we go. 
And here's the last one, the courier program. So he still has the, uh, the stone that I gave him. And this courier program is pretty simple, easy. Now I used an API, I created my own API to make him move around. Uh, and if you want to learn about that, again, let me know in the comments and I can show that. But for right now, we're only focused on the RedNet stuff. So again, we're going to have a place that it looks for a message. So we're doing a RedNet receive. And then we just say, if that message is courier, then we do the courier activity. So that's what the RedNet does. It allows you to command things remotely, get status updates. It's really, really handy to have. So the reason we went over that is so that next time we can talk about how you can use RedNet or how this program works in here in the server. Uh, and we'll go over the server program little by little. And uh, now you should be able to understand the RedNet components. So next time, uh, until next time, um, thank you for listening from Klebler Computing. This is Peralan signing off.